By the way, I just spoke with the uh, shopkeeper. 100K for this, 100,000 for this whole thing. So, just FYI, people want to know the price. Uh, uh, a great water feature? It would make a wonderful water feature. You know, it's, it's, it won't stain, it won't rust, it won't deteriorate, and it will catch the water as it comes down. It would make a wonderful waterfall. Oh, yeah. Isn't it in a nice amethyst basin? Good to go. What up, guys? Welcome to the Tucson 2021 Gym Show. We're at the hotels right now, and I gotta admit, it's been kind of disappointing, you know, this is the COVID year for gym shows, so we're miss missing a lot of vendors that we normally have here. Um, but behind me is the Pueblo gym show. It's the one I come to every year, I vlog it every year, and they always have the these cool, like huge, massive quartz pieces on display, you know, like bathtubs and towers and obelisks and different amethyst clusters. And behind me is a huge uh, rose quartz. So it looks like they cut it up, they shaped it into that uh, formation. So. I want to show you guys this kind of stuff and also some of the big stuff they have around here. But like I said, kind of disappointing this year because this show, all the ho hotels are missing about, I would say, over more than half of the normal vendors. So it is what it is. You know, it's a COVID, uh, uh, COVID gym show here. Um, so yeah, let's follow me around and uh, we'll check out some of this cool stuff here. Um, first thing, first off, is this huge bathtub. <laughs> this is amazing, right? This. Um, they had a bathtub in here a couple years back. It was a rose quartz one, and it was not this size. This is actually much bigger, much much bigger than uh, <laughs> than the one they had in, in the prior years. Um, this one's also clear quartz. I actually like this much better. I like the clear quartz much better. It's pretty. I mean, this is massive, right? If only, right? If only you could have this in your house. Uh, right here is an obelisk, probably eight feet tall. I'm six foot, so boom, maybe two more feet. I don't know. <laughs> you know. They always have these. They always have these big points. These huge points. They're just amazing, right? They're just so so cool. Um, this is citrine. This is like a smoky citrine. <laughs> so butterfly wings. They have a couple of these here. Um, you know, I, I I remember seeing more stuff from here, but you know, it's like I said, COVID COVID gym show year. Like, there's not too many people here. Not too many vendors, it is for it is. That's a bench right there. <laughs> nice bench, right? <laughs> amethyst. I don't you don't want to lean back though, because uh, you're gonna poke yourself. But uh <laughs> amethyst with cathedrals, like always. I think most of the stuff is probably sold. It's either sold or they just don't don't have it. Oh, it is sold, see? These are sold right here, the spheres. Um so which is interesting because we're not too far into the gym show. This is the second day, uh, second official day anyway. But a lot of people rush in on the first 24 hours and buy a lot of stuff. So here are, are more like moons, crescent moons. These are really cool. Um, I like this. I like these. Oh, I really like these. These are really cool. I love the uh, the druzy and then the calcini and they, like you see the the growth, right, the pattern from, from the matrix, the bed, and then it goes, you see the agate, and then the crystal. That's what I love about all these uh, Brazilian things. So, um, citrine as well, but this heat treated citrine. It's cool though, I mean, heat treated or not, I think it's still pretty. And by the way, when, when you're talking about like citrine uh, energy uh, for metaphysical purpose, I, I had this question, somebody asked me this, like, uh, natural versus heat treated, right? Well, natural is always gonna be better citrine energy. Um, but you can use heat treated citrine to get the same metaphysical benefits, the same energetic properties as natural citrine. It's a little, it's a little bit different, but it's pretty similar. Wow, this is cool. Oh yeah, that's that that just really cool. Like this, you could you could like see everything, right? Like how it just forms all the way up, and then the and then the amethyst right here. What up, guys? We're at the Twenty Second Street show now. We just came from the hotels and. I gotta say, the hotels were really disappointing. There was not much vendors. Uh, stuff was kind of a little bit overpriced due to COVID and you know things not being getting here on time. And uh, 20 Seconds Street Show looks better. Um, if you're coming this year, I would just recommend avoiding the, the hotel chain. Uh, if you want to go check out the big stuff that we that I just showed you guys, like that's cool. But if you want to come here and buy stuff, I would recommend this show right here. So we're just gonna walk around and see. Um, how you know how it compares to last year and honestly it's just as busy as it was last year this show looks like it's doing pretty good compared to the other shows 
which is which is good. So we'll walk around here and show you guys what uh, what we got here. So the show is actually pretty packed. Um, we're here in the afternoon and uh, you know early afternoon. And we've got I've seen some good stuff so far. I bought some stuff for myself. Um, but the uh, the vendors look like they're selling stuff. The uh, people people are buying stuff. Uh, there's a lot of people in here. Surprisingly, um, much more busy. This feels like how Tucson actually is. Um, this feels like how it actually is before uh, before COVID. So we're gonna we're gonna just walk down here and check out what they got. Uh, you know, cab cabochons. Hey hey. Hey, what's up? What's up? What do you guys got here? Unusual one of the five Really? Show us, show us. Oh, yeah, come on, come on. Do you have your recording on? No, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's gonna. I mean, we carry material from all over the world. We have lavender, turquoise from Kazakhstan. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Lavender, turquoise. Why, why is it called lavender, turquoise? And we're, we're... When, it, when mine first came out, it started producing these nice little lavender hues along the outside. Yeah. But the mines, the color of the mine has changed. They're more of a, a, a lighter a Caribbean blue now. Right? Okay. That's really cool. Wow, what do we got here? Steve Walters, an American artist. One of the few who do something from scratch, all by hand. He does super intricate inlays. That is beautiful. That's nice. He's been doing this now for 38 years. That's wonderful. Yeah. Those are pendants and... These are pendants. They're, he does earring tears. Some of the pieces, you know, he side drills. Yeah. And it's really intricate, guys. He creates his own tools and he'll do these deep flutings in the material. 14 karat gold leaf, you know, citrine. And it's all on a single plane of, Ab of abalone or mother of pearl. That's beautiful. Each wow. piece is unique. He'll never do the same piece twice. Yep. Damn. Steve Walters, Steve guys. Steve Walters, remember the name. That's right, that's right. Uh, for people that want to come to the show and find you guys, how, how are they going to, how would they yeah, find you guys? Look for the cool banner. Uh, there you go, guys. B27, B28. B27, B28. We're right by the south entrance. Just walk in and you can find these awesome people. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Yep. Yeah, so that's, that's cool, you know. We got some... Uh, uh, enthusiastic people here at the show you know despite all the COVID stuff and um, just really cool to see people out and you know stuff selling and people here and stuff uh, a lot of a lot of always a lot of Moroccan stuff you know we see these uh, huge spheres right here of Moroccans all these minerals you know they, they all come from uh, Morocco they got uh, they got vandenites I love vandenites you know I, I bought a lot myself um, not here my friend Kai um, Azerites, uh, different uh, different calcites, different stuff here. It's really cool. And it's always nice to see this stuff. Walking north now, and uh, a lot of jewelry in this show. You know, people ask about prices in, the, in these shows. This show is retail and wholesale. So, depending on what you're looking for when you come here and you want to buy stuff, if you're, you know, if you're a, if you have your own business and you're trying to, you're trying to uh, sell product and stuff like. The price ranges here are dramatic. All in all, it's it's uh, it's good deals here. Uh, definitely, you'll find good stuff here, without a doubt. Um, well, we got some Peruvian Peruvian, per Peruvian spheres, with pyrite spheres, different pyrite figurines here. That's cool. That's always cool to see what they do with pyrite. Peruvian, Peruvian pyrite is cool because it actually has pyrite that grows with uh, quartz, clear quartz. It's some of my favorite stuff. You know, the, the Spanish pyrite grows in perfect cubes, but they don't have them that grow with uh, quartz. So I do enjoy that. Um, all in all, it's really cool to see. Uh, oh, if you're wondering about the price, let's see here. This guy right here, 110 for that cluster. Um, yeah, Peruvian vendors. So we could, uh, we could move on here. And let's see what else we got here. Um, I'm at the uh, middle now. So every year, every year I see this this vendor over here. Uh, they they sell these lanterns, these lamps, uh, made from agates and stuff like that. I see them here every year. I think, I think they call it spirit stone. I'm not too sure, but it's really cool. I mean, they're like uh, they're agates, they're lamps. You know, you could do, you could put them wherever. You could put them outside, inside, indoor. I really, really like this one right here. And it's actually sold. I believe these are sheets of selenite. 
Somebody, somebody bought this. Somebody got a good one. Actually, these all might be sold, but uh, beautiful lamps, you know? If you guys watch my vlogs of here of the 22nd Street Show or any other show, you'll see that I, I always find these guys somewhere in the middle. Let's keep going here. Um, we just got various stuff, you know? Like, uh, they got a lot of jewelry here. They're big on jewelry on the 22nd Street Show, and this would be more of a retail, um, a retail vendor, you know? So we keep walking here. Let's see what else we got. Uh, more wholesale stuff over here. Some spheres, some eggs, etc. cetera. Uh, some other stuff. Various stuff, always, you know, always cool to check out. Eggs, spheres, different uh, minerals, different stones. Really cool. Hi. Um, you got some um, pend uh, pendulums here, actually. And they do, they, they do different things with it, you know, they, They'll put the seven, uh, the seven chakras here on the pendant, and the stone might be sodalite, or this is, I, I believe this is sodalite, and you could get the whole pack. Again, more, more jewelry. This guy's got jewelry. Beautiful necklaces, handmade probably. So, we, uh, you know, we're just, I'm looking for unique stuff this year, stuff that I don't usually see at this show, and a lot, a lot of this stuff, you know, we, we, it's a, it's a repeat of. Um, last year, not necessarily re repeat, but you know, they have the same stuff and so it's always cool when you come back to these shows every year Especially if you've been doing this for a long time, you know, I've been coming back for four or five years now uh, To find new vendors uh, new and interesting stuff and I found one right here to my left that I haven't seen before and uh, this booth They uh, it's, it looks like they have UV was that UV lights on these stones that fluoresce um Let's check this out. This is really cool. So they they got a UV light here, and these are these are stones that actually fluoresce. Check that check that out. It's really cool. They put they put these UV lights. Um, this, it looks really really cool. This whole setup here. Um, let's let's get over here. Wow, look at that. Hi. <laughs> Those fluorescent uh, uh, minerals right there are really cool. Really nice little setup he's got here. He he, sell, he also sells the flashlights, so batteries as well. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I know you from YouTube, don't I? No, you don't. No, 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 no. I don't. Know. Wait, okay. What do you got? What do you got for me? Let's see it. Let's see it. Ready? Yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. The A73. Oh, babe, look. Hey, I got the A73, A73. too. Hey, we're, we're, we're like, oh, G you. G Master, same thing. I, well, no, I don't, I don't, have, a, I don't have a G Master. Not but, only that, yeah. then I went and bought the G Master 7200. That's a really good lens. Oh, That's God, an amazing. So amazing. But it's, it's three and a half pounds, and I can't carry yeah, it Yeah, yeah. So. See, this one, what is that? Uh, that's a... 24 mil. Yeah, 24 mil. That's that's so that's a really good lens I right do there. A lot of low light stuff, yeah. as you can see. Yep. So when I'm doing my tours this year, I'm going to be doing a lot of low light stuff. That's awesome. Now, can you can you explain some of this to, to me? I, I don't. Yeah. So, so this is a mineral that I discovered in Michigan in 2017. Okay. I named them What they are is technically Eupolites. is a cyanite rich in fluorescent sodalite. Okay. I hated the name, so I asked the geologist, you know, what can I call these things? And he said, make up a name. Use where you're from and put LIT on the end. <laughs> so, uh, That's it, right? Uper for Eupers from the UP of Michigan. Eupolite was born. Nice. I love it. I love it. Eupolite. Published in 2018 for Discovery, and everything's went from there. This month I'm in Rock and Gem. In October I'm going to be on the cover. Nice, and nice. I'm doing some uh, stuff for the History Channel while I'm here, and I've been featured on the Travel Channel. Wow. Yeah. Hell yeah. What lens is that, Tamron? So this is this is my wide angle. It's, it's the Tamron. 17 to 28. Oh, this is cool. the cheaper alternative to the to the 3k yeah. You know like I wasn't gonna pay and plus that lens is heavy, you yeah. know, so yeah, 800 bucks and you get you get the wide angle uh, Versus versus three thousand dollars for the Sony G master yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did it, Well, that was really cool He recognized me and I got his info and he told us more about the Eupolites and how he named it. That was pretty funny um, He's a cool guy and we're gonna move on now and I'm starting off on the north end. I'm gonna head back, and uh, I'll be done with this gym show. Um, I always love these Turkish uh, Turkish lamps here. I love seeing these things. These are amazing. Just the colors and how stylish they are. They're really really cool. 
So those are nice. And we keep moving on here. There's there's some cool minerals to see here. Um, here we have different assorted minerals that you can pick and choose. And this is really fun because you might find a hidden gem here. You know, like uh, for example, um, I, I'm not a, too big of a fan. You know, I, I'm really picky when it comes to these things, but like. This amethyst with the angel wing calcite here is amazing. Look at that. Just the calcite growth on that amethyst. It's really cool. And here in the cabinet, they have more expensive stuff. More fluorites. Let me see if I can get in. I can zoom on that. There we go. Purple fluorites. Great cubic shape. Awesome. Um, oh, look at, check this out, guys. One of my favorite uh, amethysts right there. That's awesome. That's beautiful amethyst. That's that's really cool. Um, Brandberg, yeah. It's got phantoms and it's got like that's just see this right here, guys. It's uh it's clear on the outside, but on the inside you have the purple phantom. It's really cool. And right here you have a smoky quartz with a purple phantom on the inside. That's just amazing. That's that's really beautiful. Um, I like stores like these because even though they might be a little more expensive, like you take your time. You know, and you pick and choose, and maybe you might find something cool. So that's really neat. Um, come check these guys out. Definitely. All right, moving on. Moving on. Like I said, I'm, I'm quite honestly surprised that this show is actually doing well, which is good for them. Compared to most of the other shows, the Kino show is slow. The hotels are really just a waste of time this year. Um, there's just really not, I mean, I'm sorry to say that, but like, it's the truth and I don't want to waste people's time because you come here and you know your time is very valuable because you have to see as much as you can in the short amount of time that you're here and it's always impossible to see everything but this year you know we can scale down so much at Tucson but at the same time this show is go doing good while the hotel shows are not that good at all and I really didn't find much to vlog about over there because there really wasn't too much to to even see I mean uh, you know like that show was like 75 percent of that show was gone and maybe 25% of that show, like, you know, the vendors there. And it was just empty lots everywhere. And whatever you could find um, wasn't really that, that uh, uh, fairly priced. So, you know, I just saw the big stuff, the, the Bookbinder, th that company, they're cool. They, they, they always have the big stuff and uh, saw that. And I just kind of, you know, left after that. Um, check this stuff out. Guys. Look at this aquamarine. This is Tumble, Tumble Aquamarine. This is beautiful. Let me put let me hold this up to the light. Look at the color right there. It's amazing, isn't it? I love these Pakistani gems. Um, this guy's got tumbled and raw stuff. This is this is tumbled raw kunzite, pink kunzite, green kunzite, aquamarines, uh, tourmalines, pink tourmalines, black tourmalines, and this is really high quality stuff. Look at these strands. You guys like black tourmaline? Look, look at these strands of the stuff right here. This is amazing. Um, perfect strands, just beautiful stuff. Stunning, gorgeous. Obelisks in the back. I believe that's opal or uh, some sort of, um, not opal, uh, onyx. Yeah, I believe that's onyx. So moving on here. Oh, he's got more stuff to see. This is fun, just digging through this and, and seeing what you find, you know? seeing what appeals to you and you just come by and pick it up to see if you like it um I don't know the price of these if you guys are wondering I, I don't they don't have a, a tag here but uh, it's very nice cool stuff to look at for sure we got some more stuff here that's some amethyst and that's some lapis and I think I'm, I think I'm back in the uh, center now and I want to show you, so they got this cool booth here that I haven't seen here in the prior years and they, they, they have like, uh, what, what do you call them, like butterflies and uh, bugs and insects here. Check this out guys. So, you know, it's like, uh, not, not what's, the, what's the actual technical term for this form of art? I, I forgot, but it's really cool. Butterflies, different uh, varieties and species of butterflies. Forever. Uh, <laughs> forever immortalized in this uh, frame. That's a moth? I think that's a moth. I don't know. Really exotic species, e exotic insects here. Um, let's see, what else you got? Uh, that, looks like a that looks like a praying mantis right here. That's really cool. Kind of spread out. 
And you got some beetles. Check out the beetle. It's a cool beetle, huh? Whoa, look at this, guys. A triantula. What the? I hope you guys aren't scared of spiders. Look at that. That's amazing. Whole triantula right there. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, oh, look at look at this species. I never, I've never seen this spider before. Look at that. Oof. Anybody have arachnophobia? I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> oh, a scorpion. A little chest with a scorpion. See that? You open it, boom, scorpion. Scare somebody. <laughs> all right. See, I, I, product, of, product, of, product of Peru. Okay, so the vendor was just telling me this is all from the butterflies are all from Peru. It's amazing how much, how many different like uh, species of butterflies they have. Look at all the colors on these. Oh my gosh. I didn't see this coming in. I, I was on the other side. But that's cool, isn't it? Check that out. That is amazing. Um, that's cool. Look, check this out. Amazing. That blue butterfly is just absolutely stunning. And you got these these uh, really kind of portraity uh, portraity style frames here. A lot of butterflies, all from Peru. See, I didn't know they were from Peru until the guy just told me right now. I can't believe they have so many different uh, species. Oh, oh wow, check this out, check this out. Look at that, that is a reflection, but uh, let me see if I can get that. That's just gorgeous. Well, the colors on that is amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Guys, I'm, I'm buying some lapis here and uh, this guy's gonna take out some more stuff to show me and Lapis is hard to come by this year guys. I don't yeah, know. Because of the yeah, because of COVID, right? Yeah, because of COVID and the shipment. And it's expensive now, so I, I'm gonna pick and choose between this and um Is this all you have sir? Yeah, right now that's what I have. Okay, when are you gonna get some more? That looks in the light like this because after, after the light this just looks like see the color? This is because the lights yeah okay let me uh got some okay cool yeah. no, we're gonna find some uh, lapis. lapis is great um that's what I'm gonna do with these uh, uh, some kits for you guys. So I'll, I'll hand, see, I always hand, I like hand picking these stones. You know, I don't. Um, when it comes to quality, you have to hand pick them yourself, and it's the best way to, to find the best quality stones is just pick them yourself. And uh, this guy is kind enough to let me pick because usually they don't let you pick, and they give you a flat price. To get, you know, because if you pick, you're, you're obviously gonna get the best stuff, which is the whole idea, right? So. And that's what we're doing here. Um, finding some good stones and seeing if we get a good deal on it. And I'll uh, build some more mineral you know, gland kits for you guys on my uh, extra store here. And that's cool. Like, these, these are all in good shape. Oh, look at this. 2KG lapis made in Pakistan. So see, the quality here, I, I don't necessarily like the quality here. I, the quality... I can just see it through the bag. The quality is not as good as what I'm looking at right now. When you put it, change the bag, you see the quality. Of the bag. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, That's guys. Let's see. Let's see the. Let's see this stuff now. If you want to take some out, you can put that in there. I'm going to put the ones I'm getting out here. It's getting the 2kg price, okay? Okay. If you didn't 2kg, then I can Finding the best. See, this is good. This has good size, but then you turn it around, it's like all grayed out. <laughs> so, I mean, this might be a cool little piece for contrast, but not the best. Um, yeah, these are these are like okay. I, I, honestly, these are well. There's some good ones. See, if I just try to pick a good one, that should be fine. 